agree to expose the classifier to diverse inputs. And this can be achieved through data augmentation. So the success of SSDG largely depends on maximizing the diversity of the training samples. But which data augmentation technique should be used? Which of these will work? So in SSDG, we do not have access to the text, uh, test data or exemplars from that data set. So we compare previous data augmentation techniques like Augmix and RankConf on three different SSDG benchmarks. And we see that the improvement over standard ERM is strongly impacted by the choice of augmentation. For example, RankConf increases the accuracy on digits by almost 20%, but on Office Home it actually degrades performance by 1%. So in contrast to previous work, which uses pre-specified and static data augmentations, we present ALT, which discovers transformations in G that represent both diversity and adversity or hardness. All uses an adversary network that is trained to create plausible image transformations that can fool the classifier. And instead of learning these perturbations in pixel space, or it learns these perturbations in the weight space of the neural network, so perturbations of phi, to generate images that maximize classifier loss, and these images are used as augmented data on which the model must learn in gradients. A benefit of all is that it can be seamlessly combined with all previous uh, diversity modules like augmix or rancon and those are represented by uh, the function r so using these two modules we enforce consistency on the classifiers predictions on the original image and the transformed images using their divergence and that leads us to this overview of our approach showing different modules of fault and the loss function which combines the standard classifier loss with our new consistency constraint. Uh, so with that, we get three variants of ALT. The first uses the hardness component only, so that's ALT G only. And the second and third use ALT with existing augmentation techniques like Augmix and RANCONF as shown on the slide. And here are the results on PACS. So in this case, all beats all previous baselines and is especially stronger than pixel level adversarial chain methods. So all three variants of all are better than previous baselines. And similar uh, strong results are obtained on Office Home, where all is state of the art, and it also boosts the performance of Augmix and Rancom. So if you compare Augmix versus all plus Augmix, you see a big jump. On the digits benchmark, Again, all this better than previous methods, and substantially better than pixel level adversarial training methods, and again improves performance of both algorithms and rank. So, in summary, ALT is a new adversarial training method which discovers transformations during training, and ALT is significantly better than pixel level adversarial training and previous static plate augmentation techniques, and when combined with these, performance can be further boosted. Uh, so if the challenge in SSDG is to choose appropriate data augmentation techniques, we show that indeed the transformations that we can discover during training are more useful and more effective for the new generalization. So for details, please refer to our paper and code and consider using ALT as a baseline in future work on the new generalization. Thank you.